What's good everybody, it's H back with another 12 Hub TV video. And today we're gonna look at one of my favorite silhouettes ever in a shoe ever. And that's the Yeezy 500. And I got that Yeezy 500 that I wanted. This is actually arguably, probably the second best colorway in my opinion, but we'll see as we open up the box. This is the Yeezy 500 High Frosted Blue. Let's go. So the frosted blue. Now I saw pictures of this a couple months ago, floating around. It looked interesting. The renders are really kind of cartoonish looking. So I kind of got into it like, okay, yeah, this looks interesting. I want to, you know, maybe pick it up and see what what's well, good. Haven't had a problem ever hitting on a Yeezy 500 high ever. So I was like, easy cop. We'll see what happens. So as the buildup came to this release, uh, it's shorter. I think it came out on a Monday, April 12th, I think. And I didn't even take much of an effort to get the shoe. Uh, went in for my size on the confirmed that, and just kept Yeezy Supply open, all that extra stuff, so I could get it. Long story short, um, I was sleeping hard and I didn't get it. Uh, I hit up a couple of European boutiques and sold out, sold out, sold out. And all the big sizes, obviously. I think there were small sizes sitting for a little bit, but uh, eventually the whole thing just sold out. Uh, from what I'm hearing, it was kind of limited. Again, Yeezy 500's not the most sought after Yeezy, but I took the L. So now understanding that the demand for any shoe right now is crazy, take your wins where you could get them, especially for shoes that you want. So I kind of panic bought off of GOAT. Um, saw a pair up there for 285, ended up copying, so after taxes and everything. Uh, a little over 300 like 314 15 so that's how i got it and here it is big old classic 500 box what if i'm goat they're starting to label these things with little stickers i think i saw a sticker on here maybe i'm bugging there's a sticker on my other box but oh no, there it is yeah there it is a yellow sticker so all of my stuff from goats would come with these yellow stickers as you can see that's the frozen bleu, fro bleu, fro bleu, made by Adidas. So, nothing special about the overall design of the shoe. We've gone over this a couple times with the Tyrians and uh, the Shale Worms and these other ones. But all I can really tell you is, oh, these are nice. <laughs> quality, quality, quality. I think out of all the Yeezys that come out as far as materials, these have the best materials, uh, the 500s. As far you know, as far as like the suede, the leathers, all that type of stuff. Now, why I like the shoe so much? It's because of the way it just melds all of these awesome materials together. They've changed the tongue up a little bit here with the colors, more solid. I do actually like the one lace functionality here with the pull tab thingy. So we have a combination of leather, suede, neoprene, plastic, rubber, all types of <laughs> And the shoe is amazing. Got the Audi Preen outsole. So this was used on a Kobe shoe back in the day. I've talked about that in my old videos. Um, we got this beautiful like sky i guess frosted blue color and i'm in the darker light here but this thing is so plush man and the way it offsets with these like these hints of like this 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 gray right here it's like it's almost a little bit darker than a smoke gray and stuff and then you have this material right here all the way around so you got the neoprene stuff right here, tongue, all of this stuff. Very utilitary, utilitarian type of shoe. Now, from my experience with the newer Yeezy 500s, um, they are fitting more true to size than they did before. So I think they got the sizing right. This gray suede is so nice right here, so soft. Everything is perfect about the shoe. The leather, everything. 
price point is on point too. Obviously, it doesn't have boost in it, but it is a cozy shoe if you get it the size, the right size. And I recommend true to size, mainly because I bought every pair of these. The first pair, the slates, did not fit so true to size. It was a little snug in the toe box area. Um, the Tyrians, same thing. And then when I got the shale warms and the other one, I forgot the name of the other one, like the greenish one. I bought a 12 and a half and I ended up getting an 11 and a half from a boutique out in the UK. And you can check that video out right here. That ended up being a little too big in the 12 and a half. Uh, I had a lot of toe room and then the 11 and a half fit perfectly. So I'm thinking these will fit as well. I'll do one on foot for y'all on this one as well because why not? I haven't done it on foot with a Yeezy in a while. Anywho, this shoe is really plush. I suggest if you do get into a shoe like this, keep your mind open to the possibilities of the future and what these shoes will be like in the future. And I say that because styles have changed up. Jordans aren't going to be in forever as far as hype shoes. These newer, more modern looking shoes are starting to catch fire. And Nike's proven that a little bit with some of their newer basketball shoes. The ISPA line always selling out. The uh, Adidas with the Ultra Boost and uh, the 4Ds and stuff. All of these more sleek, aerodynamic very nice looking shoes that are modern looking to say the least and this falls right in line with those and I'm very happy to have this in my collection I have every Yeezy 500 high and that's I'm gonna cop every one if I can this is the first one I didn't get for retail though so I'm kind of pissed but it is a very dope colorway my second favorite colorway to be exact I'm giving these an 8 out of 10 overall I think I've given all of my Yeezy 500s an 8 out of 10 I give the whole silhouette a 10 out of 10 just because I like it so much but yeah tell me what you think check out my own foot at the end of this video because I'm just gonna strut around the living room and real quick but um yeah the man these are freaking fire shoes the colors are beautiful yeah, and that's all I got, people. Let me know what you think. Love y'all. Check out the podcast. It's all over there. We're going to have it on the podcast network soon. I'm going to upload the first episode this week. And the second episode is coming by the end of this week, I hope. I'm working on it right now. So, yep. Like, subscribe. Follow me on IG. Follow me on TikTok. All over TikTok now. Being very, very good about posting on TikTok. And, you know, stay close. Tell me what time it is. And we out. Peace.